Welcome back to What RT Nibs for General Disturbance. This is a 212A, it's a tier 9 Soviet SPG located on the north spawn of Highway under the command of Admiral Zombie. And the game has started, but I'm going to stop the game just there at that moment. And the reason I'm stopping it is because there is a team killer on this team and he's about to kill two Arties. That's right, he's going to team kill two of the Arties in this team, one after the other. It's the T110E4 under the name of Cool Shooter. And you can see he's over there. Now Admiral Zombie's moving away from the spawn point and Cool Shooter is coming after him. And there you go. He's team killed right at the start of the game. He's just team killed the 212A. Now, carry the game on because he's going to do exactly the same again but to another arty so we're going to follow this team killer there you go he's about to team kill the object 261 and he's turned blue so this useless idiot this complete twonk has basically lost the the team the game because there's not going to win now Absolutely not going to win. They've just not not only lost their RT support, and he's now going to try and kill the last remaining RT, the GWE 100. But he knows if he does that, he would be banned immediately. He's already turned blue, does more team damage, and in fact, actually, the other members of the team are now firing on him because they're so angry at what he's done. They know they're going to lose this game, and he knows as well that if he fires on them he will get banned immediately as well so he's not returning fire on these two tanks that uh, are firing on him and they can quite happily kill him now because he's no longer on their team he's on the blue team well we're gonna follow the battle Let me just go through the bridge here he is he's underneath the bridge at the moment let's get down and he's hiding underneath the bridge now. And other players have said he's mad. In fact, actually, that's Admiral Zombie saying he's mad. Two team kills and not banned. And somebody's saying WTF. And they said they needed the RT. And in fact, they, they, they definitely are going to lose this game. In fact, actually, it's Cool Shooter saying need RTU. Of course they're going to need RT. The enemy team has three RT and other players, well, Admiral Zombie saying he's reported and he should be reported because he's lost them the game. They're three tanks down now. Very little chance of getting this back. And Cool Shooty can't even get a proper hit on the enemy. He knows that if he goes into town, the other tanks on his team are probably going to focus on him rather than on the enemy. If we bring up the minimap, we can see that, uh, well, the enemy are, have overwhelming numbers in the northwest corner of the map. Or at least they did. But uh, we see the. Yep, they still do actually. They're two to one now. And Cool Shooter is pulling out from underneath the bridge. And we can see that there's um, an enemy tank, a Fosh 155. Now starting to engage the standard B and cool shooter. And that Fosh has been killed. The standard B got him. But cool shooter's about to meet a 50 TP. And it's a pity they don't have RT because, uh, well, they do have a GWE 100. But this T110E4, he's cost them the game. They're four tanks down now.
And thankfully that team killer is now out of the game. The game is rapidly drawing to a close. There's only four left on their team now. Th scratch that. There's now only three left on their team. Uh, Standard B's not going to last long against the 50 TP and the T95. He's already been stunned. He's trying to withdraw, but he won't be able to withdraw against those two tanks. They will go after him and get him. Yep. So now it's just a Death Star and a GWE 100. And they're over there. And we can see that the Death Star is taking considerable hits. In fact, it's a batch at 25 ton that's doing the damage. And he's just dealt with the GWE 100, which means the Death Star is the last remaining player on their team. And now he's dead as well. So... A defeat that was brought on by Cool Shooter, killing both or two of the Arties right at the start of this game. There's absolutely no doubt of the culpability of his crime. And, uh, yeah, he really has destroyed this game for everyone just because he decided to team kill. And if we look at the end of battle results, we can see that uh, both the Object 261, Delta 4, and Admiral Zombie in the 212A didn't go didn't get any damage on the enemy or any kills at all and just the basic 129 base XP for taking part whereas the uh, team killer in the object T110E, uh, the T110E4, not it's an object, um, two team kills, he did do some damage on the enemy but two team kills and only 223 base experience points so he cost them the game. Uh, when it came to the credits we can see that um, um, Admiral Zombie did make a profit in credits, but only just uh, 13,000, and he did take a profit in XP, 194. In some games, we have actually seen people who've done absolutely no damage on the enemy, and they've been team killed, and they've actually suffered a loss due to Wargaming System being out of whack. Um, certainly, this was totally unwarranted, and 23 seconds into the game, team killed by Cool Shooter. So, if you see this player on your team, in future, he is an RT team killer. Uh, do focus all your RT fire on him and uh, make sure he realizes that uh, if he carries on this way, uh, yes, he is going to um, be the subject of um, uh, repeated RT attacks, which is going to make his time in the game very uncomfortable. And he deserves it because, after all, he has broken Wargaming's rules and there's nothing in the rules against focusing fire on an enemy who happens to be um, identified on your on the enemy team list. If you happen to see him on the enemy team, make sure he receives all your arty shells so he, he really realises that there's no point in being in a game if you break Wargaming rules because that will just get you included on the team kill mod and that people will know that you're a team killer from there on in. Thanks for watching.